we have the pharmacy right there. As Steven calls it, it's the Green Cross place. We have the farmer's market right there, it's the Jardin Luxembourg. It's a dream. So we're in my apartment in Paris. My little home. And uh, I'm so happy to be here. So, this is the first video we're shooting here. Um, and I really wanted to talk to you about what's coming now. Is it live yet? Oui. <laughs> the team is forced to be speaking French while in Paris. Um, okay, so I'm super excited. You've probably since like now that we launched two new colors of the paint. And I'm going to take, tell you a little bit more about why we did it. Um, and that's why we're in Paris, because we're shooting content and the campaign and everything for these colors and more products that we're launching really soon. So I'm staying here for a month. I'm so happy to be home. It's almost like a tease though, because the month makes me really feel like I'm back home and we're gonna have to go back to New York. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. We'll see, because I can't live without New York, but I can't live without Paris, so we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk to paint. So we're launching two new colors of the paint. If you don't know what this is, this is uh, our liquid eyeshadow and eyeliner because you know you have a duo, duo, duo. I don't know how you say that. You can use this one applicator in two ways: eyeliner and eyeshadow. Uh, and it's been our hero product so far, so I'm super happy that you guys loved it. Actually, our bestseller is the blue. I'm so surprised, but also so happy because this is really one of the I mean, you know me, color I'm obsessed with. That's why we're launching a new blue, but this one is very special to me because it's um, almost black. But I'll tell you more after because I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one, so I'm gonna talk to you about this one. So, Scarabidor comes from the fact that I'm not a gold fan, or I love gold, but I'm very picky about the color of the gold. So even to make our gold, you have no idea how I traumatize probably everyone. Um, but for makeup, I feel like it kind of erases the features, it's like metal, like um, silver I mean. And, uh, and I'm not really a fan of green eyes as well, I'm like wearing all the green somehow. But this kind of green I like. So anyway, I'm very picky with colors. And so when I saw Scarabé, uh, how you say, beetle, it's exactly these two colors together, insane green gold and I fell in love with it. That was years ago when I had a little collection of them and to be able to see how Mother Nature is such a most incredible artist, how can we create such colors? I'm blown away. So I had to do this as an eyeshadow. It's been a dream of mine for a very long time. This one is, um, is a very tricky one to make. It's so loaded into a metallic pigments that when you receive it, you might see a gap. It's not that there is less formula, it's like just like the thickness is different, so it's more a little bit more compact. But for your application, you're not going to feel everything, anything different. Um, but you should know this one is a little bit special. So the color is with the it's like, like kind of a lime color for the green, and then the gold is very rich. So when you apply it, we'll do another video with it, you'll see it's this veil of gold glitter that really, really shows. It's so gorgeous. If it's every skin tone, every hair color, every eye color, if it's everyone. So nice. Today we're gonna use Ciel de Nuit, who is a very, very dark matte blue, almost black, because I wanted to kind of like show you that colors are infinite. The amount of colors we can create is crazy. So if you add a little twist to some of the most classic color, it can really change the game. And when you wear this kind of color for brown eyes like me, it's really hard to find one eyeshadow that's going to push our eye color, and this one is definitely doing it, so I'm so happy. It gives a twist to your classic black. Uh, I'm going to swatch them for you so you can see. So you see it's a very deep blue. It's almost like black. I kind of love them together. So, yeah, I think that's fine. We'll use this. Okay, so you know my passion for concealer, and uh, this is one from a lab that I'm testing. It's very, very nice, but I want it to be a bit more moisturizing. So, fusion with the skin a bit more. 
So first I like applying around my lips because either we have like skin stain, like a bit yellow, or we have um, vein like mirror shadows or pigmentation. And then under the eyes, I try to not go too close from my lash line because I want like some um, definition, otherwise I look like uh, erased. Okay. Um, I kind of like when it goes a little bit more down in order to uh, plumb the cheekbone. I mean, I didn't sleep last night. I don't know if you can tell. So this one is not like super heavy coverage. So I'm going to take the next one that I think, honestly, to hide like stronger shadows is really the best. My only issue is that it dries quite, quite fast. So once you open and start to use it, um, you can't use it forever. It's going to dry. This one is nice and that's why I like it because it's small. So I use it quicker. So it's less dry, does that make sense? <laughs> okay, tiny bit here. Especially when you use blue, you gotta make sure you um, put like brightness under your eyes because it can enhance um, dark circles, which I don't really want to do. Um, okay, a bit of terracotta just to give me a little bit of a sun-kissed effect, which I like to do during fall. This is my one of my favorite lip balm. You know I love Lip Saver from Avida. This one is homeostic. I buy it in French pharmacy. The smell, I don't know why it like, make, drives me crazy. Voila, then blush. The problem I have with this one is that it's quite pigmented. I like when the blush is more like, um, it looks like it's like from under the skin, like this sort of like flush, you know? So that's why I use it. Very little, and then I can even put a bit of beauty blinders. Yes, uh, because I really want it to look like a New classic or Italian Renaissance, where the blush is a blush, you know. It, that's why we use blush is to cheat and pretend it's um, the flush of the skin, like the blood. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Okay, so I like when the blush feels like it's the flush, like it comes from within. So either I really put just a little veil of blush, or I pat with my beauty blender on top. What am I doing? I'm shining up a bit of natural highlighter, a bit here. For this one, I like to do black. It's hard for me to do it that way, so I'm gonna do it like this. Basically, I like to kind of lift my lash line and then I can really color and you'll see I focus on really between the lashes not not really above you see you see it here now if I close my eyes you don't see it on top but if I open you see it and with mascara then it looks like I have tons of lashes which is really not the case <laughs> I wish I'm gonna do the eye so the technique I usually like kind of like lift and then go inside and that way it gives me support from the eyeball to really color the lash, the roots of the lash. The first time you're going to do it, your eyes are probably going to freak out of fear, but it's, um, yeah, I've been doing it for years. I've like, it doesn't impact anything. Okay, quickly. Now, quickly, because I have to go. Um, to paint, I'm going to use it on this side, up, and as you know, that's why it's called paint, it's extremely pigmented, but that's how you get the intensity of the color, but if you want to wear it 
as a smokey eye, you just put a little drop and blend it with your finger. And that's, a, that's the way to do it so it's less strong. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm going to do the cat eye. And with my nail, yeah, blend it like this. I don't know if you was clear on camera. I want to just remove the paint from my lashes because I go so f close from the lash line that I'm putting some on there and I don't want to because then it um, clumps the lashes. Like it, Kim? Yes. So Kim approves. Very nice. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> it's your favorite? Yeah. Will you wear it though? I don't know, maybe. Oh. Huh? I want to see that. I want to see that. That's exciting. Okay, we're gonna do the other eye. This is gonna be a very good technique video. She can see it already. I can see it already. Are you editing it in your head? Already. <laughs> okay. And then. So when you do eyeliner, try to do it with your head not tilted, like really straight in the camera because that allows you to shape your liner with, with your feature, like the way you actually look to people. Because usually I see women doing it like this, but you don't talk to people like this. So try to uh, keep it pretty, like how you would talk to somebody. If it's tricky for you to use this as a liner with the applicator, you can totally just use a brush huh, and you paint them um, brush with the paint and you just do your classic yeah like your usual technique okay voila i'm not obsessed with like having a perfect tip because i like that it's kind of like dying fusioning within my, my skin i'm gonna make sure i don't have any easier paint on my lashes here too if you need to do a little touch up like nail polish really like clean up your brush so it's more precise. Shit. I just did a mistake. So if you do a little mistake like I just did, take a Q-tip with some oil on it, like an oil remover, and just uh, clean up like that. Again, do it really straight in the mirror so you can see where you need to fix it because you may not to fix it where you thought you needed. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes to make it super kind of retro because I don't use false lashes so it's really just a way to have awesome lashes. And then on the bottom, I just focus on the roots to give this a little retro effect. Right now I'm losing all my hair. I have short lashes. It's really not the best. Um, like you guys have been asking me for a hair routine. Well, let me fix. <laughs> what's happening and then I can tell you what works. I'm just cleaning, because matcha is making the lips green, so I don't really love that. And the PW balm. Voila. Oh, which color is this one? No. Oh. Bit of perfume. Why am I looking myself when I'm perfume on? <laughs> Oh gosh, I love this scent. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna take a few products with me. Concealer and taco dough. Maybe my little lip balm. That's it. 
uh, let's go so I can't wait for you guys to wear those colors please tag me so I can see it's really my favorite thing to see you guys wearing the products so you can buy it now on JulietteFR.com